Experiment 2. Which uses less, baths or showers? In this experiment, we're going to compare how much water a bath or a shower uses to get something clean. For this experiment, you will need one measuring jug, one bucket, one watering can and two paintbrushes with paint ready to wash. Step 1. Cover two paintbrushes in paint. Imagine the paintbrush is you, but with dirty hair after playing with your friends outside on a rainy, muddy day. You could even use mud instead of paint if you like. Step 2. Have you ever thought about which would be the best way to clean up? A shower or a bath? And by best, we mean waste the least amount of water. Step 3. We're going to pretend the jug of water you have is a bath and the watering can is a shower. Your teacher may have decided to use an old plastic milk bottle with holes on the lid for the water to pass through instead of a watering can. Step 4. Now it's time to wash the paintbrush in the jug of water or the bath. Step 5. Now wash the other paintbrush with the watering can. Whatever you've got to resemble the shower. Make sure to do this over a bucket so you can see how much water you use. Step 6. You should then measure the amounts of water in both the jug and the bucket and see which was the most efficient. You will need to measure the bucket water in the jug too. Notice anything? Step 7. Write down and discuss which method used the least water to clean the paintbrushes. Consider which option uses water most efficiently and relate this to your habits at home, using these questions to help. Which option works best for you? Next up, try another experiment or continue exploring the rest of Water Tracker House.